What's good, y'all? It's Oddity, and welcome back to another episode of The Craft. Some just do it for the cash, others do it for the passion. Is you working on your craft? Is you really about that action? Some just do it for the cash, others do it for the passion. Is you working on your craft? Is you really about that action? The Craft. Welcome. welcome. Being a music artist is can be super rewarding. Um, in the high moments and super discouraging in the low moments and the hardest thing to grasp I would say at least from my uh, from my experience is being patient when making songs and this was something that honestly until within the last year I would say I struggled with and I was not good about so when making songs, everyone goes through different processes. Some people like to hear the beat and just write out straight through and come up with the song and record it. And that was me when I first started. I evolved from that to now I like to write on my laptop with the doll playing, playing the song on loop. And I'll write sections at a time and then record those sections and then play those sections I recorded on a loop to the next section that's empty. and. You know, it's like a putting pieces to a puzzle. So I will methodically build verses and methodically build the song. Sometimes it happens in an hour. Sometimes it happens in three, four hours. Sometimes it takes a day or two days or a week. It just depends on the inspiration and how the production and my mind link up. So that's the process. And the process, like I said, is different for everyone. Where the patience comes in is once you get that song, so sometimes if you are someone who just writes and records, sometimes that can make an amazing song. Sometimes the method that I do, where I methodically piece together the different part, you know, piece together the verses and the song, creates an amazing song. Oftentimes, if you if you want that song that's just a, a notch above amazing, like amazing, 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 super dope song, you have to have the ability to go back and revise parts of it that only would happen if you take your time uh, records that resonate with people and for me the patience part of it was something that like i said i struggled with up to about a year ago and, and i'm finally to the point now where i'm chord i will write and record on a song send it to my my engineer slash producer and like I, we talked about in the last episode one of the last episodes you, he's not a yes man so he he's going to be honest and there's times I send him songs and he's like, oh, yeah, that's fire. Don't do nothing to it. And then there's times when he's like, eh, man, like you really didn't you didn't hit it how I feel like it needs to be like you didn't hit the pocket the way or you didn't deliver it the way I feel like it should be delivered. And when, when we first started working together, there was kind of like I wouldn't say it was like tough to deal with. It was just new. The more that I listen to that now, when he sends me the feedback and he's like, eh, bro, like, mm. I don't even think twice. I'm like, all right, bet. I trust your ears. You know, like most of the time when his when he says that, I kind of knew in my heart that it was. You kind of know as artists when you write something, you're like, this is a good song, but like, is this a great song? So when he gives me that feedback, I, I take two approaches. One is I try to rework that song, whether it was the hook that wasn't good. I try to like, I mute the hook and try to come up with a new one. Or maybe there was the verse, same thing. So that's one option is to rework that song. Option two, take that same beat production, mute everything in the same file. Now, if you have too many files, maybe you open up a new uh, file and put the beat in and start from scratch. And sometimes that takes opening that new file, putting that beat in there and not messing with it for like a week. And don't listen to the song that you recorded that, you know, you kind of liked and it was good when you recorded it. And you're like, yeah, this is a good song. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to that beat. Put that beat in a new file. Hit save. Don't mess with it for about a week. Come back to it in a week. I promise you, this happens to me every time. You get to working on a song for like three, four, five, six hours, whatever it is. You record it and you're like invested in that song because you've been working on it for so long. And you, you know, it sounds good to you. You, you, you might have some catchy elements to it, but you put that beat into a new file. Like I said, save it. Don't attempt to make anything new. Come back to it in a week. That song that you, the first version that you originally you won't even remember the hook or anything. It'll be tough. And when you hear that beat again, you might have some new ideas. You might have an even better hook. You might think of a different way to approach the verses. And that patience for me has is what has created some of the songs that are now coming out on my YouTube channel and on Spotify. And for instance, Cloud9, the chorus I wrote for that, the hook, 
was not what originally I wrote for that and neither was my verse. And I went back after a week or two off and rewrote it and it, the song wouldn't be what it is now if I had not been patient. The same can be said for Free Falling, same can be said for Thunder and Rain, these songs that have just come out. And I owe that to patience because we get in these in this mindset that I need to record this, I need to get it out there to the world. Yes, we're in an era of like massive consumption, but you don't have to rush anything. You can take your time on 20 songs and just revise and revise and revise. And you'll have 20 great songs that you can release fast, 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 rapidly if you want, instead of recording a song, putting it out and it's good or whatever. And then you have 20 good songs. There's no time frame of when you need to release. Like I know we, we feel, I feel this sometimes, like I need to just get the music out there because who's going to find me, but no one's going to care if your music isn't sonically appealing to them or if it doesn't step up to that next level that really makes someone feel it. So patience is a virtue, super cliche, but it is very, very true. And I am, I am a testament to it and I'm continuing to learn and grow with my patience. So with that being said, thank you guys for being patient with me on, on that spiel. But I think that's, it's important as for artists. It's important. And it's something that just, I think through time and experience, you learn to become patient. You try things and they don't work. And then you just, you kind of learn that like, I don't need to be going hundred miles an hour to make this work. Anyways, thank you all for coming to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to the craft. I hope that, you know, I, I'm giving, dropping gems here for you guys. This is stuff that I've experienced. So I'm just, I'm kind of got, you guys are getting into my brain and, and stuff that I've gone through. I hope it can help because I, I didn't, I had to learn all this stuff on my own. So I, I, I kind of do want to help younger artists. So make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Thank you guys. And I will see you all next episode.